Speaking of fall, you may have noticed that some of the trees around here are still showing their summer green, while other places the leaves are approaching their peak fall colors. Yes, yeah, so what is going on here with Mother Nature? <laughs> Meteorologist Matt Wentz here now. Any bad puns? Yeah, <laughs> nothing, Lena Lai. Lena Lai, Lena Lai, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, you know, here's the deal. A lot of people got on the pumpkin spice train a little bit early, and that was because we had those cool mornings, and then the cool mornings kind of went away. We've back, been back to this humidity uh, across Northeast Ohio over the last week or so. In terms of the fall colors, you know what to look for. This is at Huntington Beach, some video we shot earlier. They've got decent color in spots. Otherwise, we're dealing with just green leaves. Peak across Northeast Ohio, typically about a week to two weeks from now. So this is normal when you see some of the color, but a lot of the trees still show in green, especially out towards the Chagrin Falls area, where we also shot some video, some drone video of Chagrin Falls. You can see a lot of green as you get out towards the east. In fact, great view there from Dom, our photographer, of some of the uh, greenery leaves stretching for miles out there, but not a lot of color, right? We're checking the calendar saying maybe things should be turning by now. So in terms of the fall colors, we have to talk about what causes those leaves to churn first. So it's chlorophyll. You learned that in science class. That makes the leaves green, right? The thing that triggers fall colors are the longer nights. That's why the same time every year those leaves start to change, but it does rely on the weather as well in terms of moisture and in terms of temperatures. Temperature playing the big key, and you can see some of those chemicals that are allowed to come out when you have the sunshine and when you have those cool nights. So bright colors. How do we get those? We need long stretches of sunny days days and cool nights. When you have the sunshine, it produces sugar in a lot of the leaves. And what happens when you have that cool night, it lo locks that sugar into the leaf, which allows the chemicals to make it colorful. So what have we had? We've had quite a bit of sunshine. We haven't had the cool nights, so the color's not quite as you know predominant as they have been. In terms of peak, this is average. This is when we hit our peak around October 11th, October 18th as well as when we should be at it. I would, based on the recent warmth that we've had, kind of put this forward about two weeks. So it should be around Halloween. I think we'll have the brightest colors around here. But the weather pattern is not anything crazy as of right now. Betsy Killing's got your forecast in terms of this stuck, soggy pattern that we've got that's very typical this time of year. Betsy. Yeah, we definitely have that fall feeling atmospherically, maybe not biologically in the leaves and whatnot, but the atmosphere is definitely in a bit of a flux right now. It's not quite sure if the northern stream should be in charge or the southern stream should be in charge. So we have a, this kind of area where we're sitting and just unsettled weather and that's basically the forecast for the next seven to ten days no real guiding force here over the next few hours we have these clouds that are with us they'll start to break up more and more matt mentioned the fog we likely will have some fog around northeast ohio could be locally dense in some spots that being said, we're still dealing with some isolated rain chances, too. Just scattered around the area. No real rhyme or reason as to why it's raining in one place rather than another. It's just been bubbling up in the heat of the day. And as nighttime sets in, we should start to see that settling down. But there have been a few good downpours here and there. Then they move away. But notice the movement of these showers. The stuff out by Toledo is basically stationary, where the showers out on the eastern side of Ohio are moving from south to north generally speaking. All of that associated with a big area of low pressure in the upper part of the atmosphere. So this thing is really the driving force of what's going on. But this is not the only one. We're just in this very unsettled outlook right now as far as the big picture goes. So I'm going to zoom out and show you that, okay, you know, we're getting the rain. Areas in the central part of the states aren't really getting the rain. But I'm going to flip it over to the water vapor. This helps us to identify storm systems that may not be appearing thanks to rain. This is basically just uh, aggregate aggregates areas where there's a lot of intense water vapor in the atmosphere and where you see the purples that's what I'm talking about and notice here especially as I zoom out there is a lot of purple north there's a lot of purple south and then you kind of get all these swirly areas where the orange that very dry air is working in too we like to see very nice lines that is the jet stream that's where the energy is so if we have a good driving energy force like that jet stream where that orange arrow or that yellow arrow is that's basically the push that we would need to get all of this moved out of here we really don't have that push coming anytime soon it's going to take its old sweet time in getting here here's your national design our hour by hour forecast these scattered showers as i mentioned fading away as we get into some nighttime cooling we will have some fog forming that's the uh, light gray that you see there expanding across the 
the area. That fog will dissipate as we get toward the midday hours. Temperatures are going to be nice tomorrow. I think we're going to be in the 70s, but as you can see, once we get into the afternoon hours, other than a very isolated rain chance, we actually have a pretty solid Tuesday coming our way, and I think you're going to mm -hmm. like what you see here in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. 74 will go partly cloudy with that slim chance for an isolated shower. Better chances for showers coming late Wednesday into Thursday and Friday. That finally leaves us on Saturday. By Sunday, we should get into a drying trend. And I mentioned the warmer air isn't quite done yet. Man, a week from today, we could be staring down 80 degrees here in Northeast Ohio. Russ wow. and Lena. You know, and that's, I'm okay with that. It's all good. <laughs> oh, we'll pay for it eventually. Emails. You know how this goes. Oh, yeah. All right. It certainly does. All right, Betsy, thanks.